dear lovebirds, welcome back to another episode of Out of Simulator. Yesterday we stopped uh, basically in our apartment. Um, I think we're slowly losing our minds, if I'm being honest. Damn, the music is so loud, but uh, this is just the, the title screen. I just quickly press the, the continue button. Uh, no, we finished with, I think it was chapter two, and I think we were about to start with a chapter three. Our last thing we did was we were calling our friend, was his name Steve or Steven? Steve, I think. And my problem is that we never saw Steve. Like, we're always calling him, but... I don't know. Is he even coming over? I have no idea. What is happening with me? What happened to my wife? A lot of questions. And am I going to lose my sanity entirely? That's all going to probably going to happen in today's episode. My PC is just loading a bit. There you go. Chapter three. These reports will kill me one day. I'll mm -hmm. have to finish it over the weekend. And I think we need to take our pills now. It's time to get to work. Mm -hmm. I should take out the trash first. This whole apartment is kind of trash. Fuck. Maybe I'll just ignore it. Who's calling us? Oh, that was uh, Samantha, right? No, Charlotte. Oh yeah, we had this conversation uh, yesterday. Oh, hi. No, no, I, I just... <clears throat> uh, I wrote reports in those last sections, and I was just about to leave for work. Always know when to call. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. What's up? How are you? I'm good, thanks. What about you? Okay, nothing new. I uh, had a few days off. Oh, that's nice. Something for you? Well, um, the photo with, um, the photo I asked you for? He, she asked us last week or, uh, about the photo and we, we Sorry, sent it away. I sent it a week ago. Mm -hmm. no, it's always the same yet. size all the way. Is it? Sorry for rushing you. You have so much on your mind. I thought... I, I tried to pay attention out. to that. It's okay. No worries. Uh, with my pills, I... <laughs> pills. Pills. Uh, I almost forgot to take my pills. <laughs> uh, so you see... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I uh, have to go now. Yes, yes, sure. Let me know if you still haven't received the letter. Then I'll try... Mm, well, maybe I'll find something else. Oh, really? Could you? That... It would be great if you could. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. I know it means a lot to you. Well, I won't hold you any longer. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Damn. Did I mess up the address? Uh, I, I don't think so, but maybe we did. What kind of pills is he taking anyway? I don't think we we know it explicitly. But I would assume it has something to do with uh, his uh, panic attacks. Because then he's kind of stabilizing. It, it, it's it's kind of familiar to me, Pan. That's why I'm saying this. Maybe I but I don't think we know exactly what kind of pills these stuff. are. But I think it's calming him down to stay here. All right, take the trash out. What trash are we talking about? This is trash. Everything is trash. Is it already here? Oh, it's right here, dude. Ugh, Everything so is wet. trash. And why so? I don't know. You're so messy, dude. Throw the trash into the dumpster. I guess that's gonna be outside. All right, we're closing the door. <sighs> uh, I Investigator Mimi, hell yeah. Actually, we're not even working close with the police together. I was, I was kind of hoping we would, we would uh, work. Okay. Did someone forget their baby outside? Please don't be a zombie. What's going on? Okay, the baby's not here. Okay, next I'm not gonna check out for the baby. I'm, I'm expecting always the worst. 
But yeah, we're not working closely with the police together. I was kind of hoping for that, or at least I was uh, thinking it's like that. But that's a dumpster. This whole place is like that. This one? Dude. <laughs> this whole, sp whole place is... Ah, over here. I cannot run. It's also a bit like a walking sim. There you go, but honestly, this is all dirty. What? I wonder if Alice's mother has a film of this photo somewhere. I actually hadn't thought about it before. Ugh. Alright, back to work. A new body. I hope it's not going to be too too disgusting for us, huh? Imagine there would be a body without a hat. Nah, they would not do that, right? Nah. Even though it's weird to see... Uh, the body without any organs inside, not even a brain. That's very weird to see. Just a shell, basically. Yeah, I'm giving you, I'm giving you some nightmare fuel today. <laughs> oh, chat. But it's super interesting to watch this kind of stuff. I'm learning. I, 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 I'm really learning a lot. Oh, I just God. hope I'm keeping this knowledge. Why do I like so I wonder what so happened much. with Steven. Me too, me too. Hopefully we can figure this out. Huh? Where's this kid, dude? Just me, Jack. Why are you screaming, then? Good afternoon. Hello. Isn't it a bit early for you? No. I missed our invigorating conversations. <coughs> Has Stephen brought the body? Yeah, the trolley's in the hall. Maybe wheeling it to the dissection room will be invigorating enough for you. I also never saw his face. I've missed how friendly and help. I think I'll get straight to work on this one. Focusing on something will do me some good. All right, Chad, let's go. And I'm always hoping that this buddy is not moving suddenly. <sighs> Christ. Have cake. Enjoy happening. your cake. What kind of cake do you have, Nevers? I hope I'm not killing your um, appetite a bit now with the dissection room. Hey, Mr. Ridley, I need help. I can't lift this bag myself. Okay. Move the body back to the autopsy table. Uh, red light. Marble cake. Oh, very nice. A classic one. Uh, at least I can start. Wait, this is weird. So if this is the chest, where's the hat? Is this can't be the hat, right? Maybe. Find some protective. Okay, I'm a, I'm a bit nervous again. I shouldn't be right. I guess Dorothy ordered it. But this is looking a bit w different. I think I'll skip recording the video for the students today. They don't need to see me and the body. Ugh. And they'll still have the accompanying photos anyway. <clears throat> November twenty seventh, nineteen ninety one. This is looking odd. PM. Conducted by. Dr. This is Jack never a hat. Head would be here somewhere, not here, right? Am I, am I crazy? Maybe this one is actually not okay. This is another nightmare. Look through the information provided in the police folder. Let's see. <clears throat> James Evans Jr., also known as Jesse, age about thirty, weight one hundred and thirty kilograms, height one hundred and eighty centimeters. Evans had previously been convicted of possession of stolen goods, robberies, and drug trafficking. There were also attempts to accuse him of leading a criminal group responsible for burglaries in the New Orleans area. Uh, what? Burglaries in the New Orleans area? This is... <clears throat> it's a rather strange coincidence. Mm -hmm. There's not. Are you also thinking this pan? It's weird, right? Police photos show that the body was not even particularly hidden, but only covered with a thin layer of soil, branches, and leaves. <laughs> Once a long time ago, when Mimi was a waiter, I asked for some cereal, hoping to get a catered. Mimi didn't give me any and just told me it to come back later. Now she doesn't read my messages playing out of the cereal. <laughs> I am though. I am. Hi, Essex. Welcome to the stream. Good day to you. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Do you have any plans for today? 
I'm the time traveler. Hi, <laughs> Asenix, welcome. Um, yeah, let's see. The body was found naked and mutilated. Maybe Worlds they never found a head. Maybe. The deceased were found Maybe there is a head. Die. Let's just hope for the best. But that's such a brutal thing to remove a head. The body was found inadvertently in the woods near Petesville. The dogs picked up the scent while searching for a missing boy. The deceased's father, James Evans Sr., is a local businessman. He was the one who reported the disappearance. At the time of the report, his son hadn't been home for three days. Who's this voice actor of this game, by the way? Who's speaking my character? I'm super curious because that's his voice sounds so familiar to me. Since yesterday, I'm thinking of that. Well, let's put Sounds this away. Disturbing. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, Chad, are you ready? I'll I'm not ready. The bag. There is no hat. This, there is no. I knew it. Yeah, there is no hat. I knew it. They, there is no hat. Oh fuck! Oh I didn't man. Expect this level of. Uh, uh, okay, dude. Check the bag the police left. Lay the contents of the bag on the table. What contents? The, what contents are we talking about? This is looking. Um, oh. <laughs> ah, the content Maybe here. There will be something worth noting about the victim's clothes. Leather belt. You can see that it's been serving its owner for a long time. Mm-hmm. Plain gun t-shirt. Some jeans. Classic jeans. Well, dirty and torn. Closed examine clothes for clues. <sighs> Certainly not my style. Hmm. Traces of blood and plasma. It could have been used to stop or reduce bleeding. What about the shirt? Interesting. Most of the blood is visible around the neckline. However, after decapitation, I would expect a larger stain, reaching much further. The blood stains don't appear to be related to any injuries on the body. Is that a phone? A oh, oops. Engraved with the police insignia. Stolen? It looks somehow. Uh, it's probably a coincidence. Traces of dirt mixed with blood and rubbed leaf litter. Heavens must have been crawling, or was dragged along the ground. For a partner in crime, Patrick Kenneth uh, Langner is the narrator. Oh, okay, never mind then, never mind. I don't think I know the narrator then, but thank you so much, Deeds, for, for checking this out. There's nothing to censor. Would a crew person would do this? Yeah. Probably to hide something. Maybe. I think it is making. I mean. It's very obvious, right? You are removing the hat to to make this body to anonymous body. Because if you're not having a hat, then you don't have any teeth to check out. You you don't have a face to, to check it out. So that's probably one of the reasons. Did I wait, what's Something this here? here? It looks like some kind what is of this? Ectasis scale? Fish? This could point to an animal being responsible. Huh. What about the... I think I need to check out everything properly. Wait, what? What am I looking at? I think only the belt is missing? Still the shirt? Okay, no, we're not done yet. Mainly traces of soil. Oh. It's a bit like the perpetrators pulled his shirt over his head. Did we did we get everything? No. I'm still missing some clues. Maybe I also need to turn it around. Ooh, no. Anything inside? Okay. <laughs> hmm. 
I cannot get out of this uh, window. I don't think I found anything specific on this on this belt. Why should I look closely? I did not block it again, right? No. I cannot look inside. There are not many possibilities, so I cannot like go up and down here. E? Let me get out! <laughs> There are no clues anymore. Yo, I don't know what to do. Cool. Is there more here? You can see it. Is it on the je it jeans? What do you see? Baxa, what is here? Oh, here, a this cube. part. Another There's a cube. Souvenir. Hmm. Oh no, that's not a cube. Different than the previous one. What the hell is this? The only thing I can tell from the clothes is that before it. <clears throat> okay, I'll take a look at the scales. They seem too different. Okay, I hope I'm not losing my mind now. Encyclopedia here. She performed an autopsy on an exotic animal smuggler. The guy suffered an accident while transporting illegal animals. Not only were the police needed on site, but it took nearly a day to round up his cargo. Dorothy had a hard time with that case. Did the impact kill him? Or did one of the animals he was transporting do him in? They even talked about it on the news. People were terrified that some reptile would just come out of the can and grab him. Okay, the book. Well, we found the book. Analysis of Animal Traces and Forensics. Looks like a piece of bread with a button. <laughs> I was also very confused about that. Thought it's like a cube. Go to the lab and compare this case with the examples on the end class. Okay, we're taking the book with us. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Um, am I doing this here or over there? Oh no, I need to go to the lab. This is not the lab. That's the laboratory. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, is this child, this screaming child? Oh what God. the hell? Who, who is this? Did you see the headless guy? He was knocking. Okay. Go to the lab and compare these scales with the examples on the atlas. Let's turn on the light. Oh, what is happening here? Nothing. Uh, all right. Reptiles. Uh, which page was it? <sighs> Local wildlife. I bet I'll find something here. This is looking very similar, right? Oh. That was quick. I wouldn't expect anything else. Zebra. Not this area, but who knows. Nile Crocodile. Oh! Formerly worshipped, no way. I would expect something local. I certainly don't remember hearing of an animal huh. escaping from the zoo. So, either someone donned in crocodile products was around the deceased, or one of them attacked him. I'll examine the body and take photos. If an animal attacked him, there will be traces. Ugh. Christ. Why am I so tired? Some coffee would be nice. Yes, Chad. Oh, coffee would be actually nice. To... Ah, the pictures. I'll have to show them to Dorothy. Too bad that we no longer keep our ranking. Put something like that. <laughs> How do we come out on top? That's... All right. I'll begin. The deceased skin is smooth and taut. This suggests so a stage of decomposition of the corpse. He he looks like he got bitten by crocodiles. It 
it's unlikely that a human would make such a wound. Goodness, you can even see the bone. Maybe crocodile ate his head and then buried the lot I rest with. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Maybe. Nasty. Oh, goodness. Same here. Look at this. Such a wound could not have occurred during the victim's lifetime. Yeah. Mm. Looks like he was here in a chain. There are also clear traces of the deceased ankles being bound in some way. Yeah. Looks different. Okay, the other side then. Same with his arm. Evans couldn't have tied himself up like that. It looks like some sort of attack or kidnapping. Oh my god, this is looking like there was a crocodile biting him. Oh. And as expected, there's a bite. Okay, I need to find the, the last three pictures. I don't know what this... Ah, uh, this one maybe? Yeah. Chest. This wound appears to have been made by a sharp instrument. Two more. And of course his head. This is so brutal to see. No head. That's yeah. not this. And the last one. Um, still his chest. What are these here? It got stabbed or something. Interesting. This needs to be investigated further. So what was I the reason he died together. then? And look at these photos. It seems I wonder whether the decapitation took place before or mm. I have some suspicions about these marks. The work of animals can be seen here. The question is which ones. So did he die because of the animal? Or did he die because he got stabbed beforehand? Or did they do this because they wanted to get rid of the I body? Inspect these areas with a magnifying glass first. Mm -hmm. Take the picture of the bite mark from the photo boards. Uh, this one. This looks very promising. The bite is clearly visible. It should be easy to compare with the encyclopedia and identify the culprit. I just need to make it a little bigger. It'll be faster than physically measuring the bite. Enlarge the photo using the fax machine. Let's see. I hope I put it in right. I can never remember whether it was image up or image down. Looks good. University. I didn't have facilities like a... F ah, fantastic. Practically a one-to-one. -one. Just some tracing paper, a pencil... And I can check these in the encyclopedia. Use tracing paper in your office for further examination. All right. Now, do I leave them in a drawer? Or maybe a box somewhere? Ugh. I don't remember if I left them out somewhere. Why is it always so dark? They definitely pay me too little for this. Uh, tracing paper. Nope. Nope. Oh, hello, my friend. Dear John Damien's. I think that's a reference to Jack Damien's. Awful. <laughs> it would be good to finally repair the coffee machine. It won't be needed for the next few months. Ah, uh, I don't know where to find the tracing paper now. Further examination. I just put it down here. Dun, 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 I work dun. with corpses, but I don't have to smell like one. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, never mind. There is a container here we can open. Oh. oh. Looks like I can tidy up after myself. Sometimes. Archives. Just as lifeless as the corpses they concern. 
A very, uh, nature-driven case so far. I'll have to consult the encyclopedia again. Good thing Dorothy left it here. Otherwise, I would have had to run back to my place to get some. Thanks, so what's that thing outside the window? There is no thing. Do you know? <laughs> Use the atlas to compare the bite marks. Um, did we leave the... Do we have the atlas in the lab? Ah, Dietzy, kind of get me there. Well, it is kind of... I would be concerned if it was this crocodile that killed him. What kind is this? Ah, salt water. Can I just put this here? Nope. Oh, yes. <laughs> this... I only need to concentrate on the crocodile chapter. The shape of the jaw appears correct, but not the teeth. Uh, that's not it. Maybe he also needs to go to the dentist, uh, the dog, uh, not the dog, but that the crocodile. This Alligator Mississippiensis, United turns States. Out some of the wounds can be safely blamed on local alligators. However, we cannot blame them for the decapitation. It's huh. not these animals we should be afraid of here. Uh, I should make some notes and start the autopsy. Yep. All right, autopsy time. Ugh. Uh, inspect the areas of concern with a magnifying glass. And look for other traces using a magnifying glass. Well, let's start with the hat then. Uh, it doesn't look good. Evans wasn't decapitated with one cut. It's horrible. Several stab wounds of varying depth and circumference. It looks like the killer might have missed before they finally hit the neck. Yeah. Then the crocodile bite. I really think this happened afterwards. Mississippi alligator. It's strange that an alligator would leave such a clear and smooth mark. I mean, why would they stab him afterwards? Looks like an uneven bite. It's worth taking a closer look. Alligator at round snoot. Crocodile pointy snoot. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Gator dentist. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, but it's cool. Of course, there are books like this existing. What about this mm. tight? The imprints are quite. Imprints. From the looks of it, I'd say Evans was restrained with his own belt. The result of an animal tearing at its body, eating skin, soft tissues, and genitals. There are even some teeth marks, but, uh, well, it doesn't look like an alligator. The bite is firmly incorporated into the wound. A photo of what the hell? I also just realized. Cast and compare it. What the hell am I looking at? What? Okay. Okay. Wow. Evan's right side Did you see the teeth? To the crocs and insects. What is this horrible story? Finding marks. You can see peeled epidermis and small wounds. They are literally having biting marks <sighs> down here. Zoologist today. But not by the crocodile. Okay. I need a tool with dental impression cement. Can I find it here? Uh, no. It's probably lying somewhere around in the lab. So we should left with a silicone dispensing gun. The has expired. Oh, it's right here. A month after the due date. That could be worse. Create a cause of the bite marks around the groin. You know, he might have been fine if he just said, see you later, alligator. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Now I need to cover the bite area. Wait until it hardens. Mm. Uh. Uh, I think it's ready. Mm. The cast looks quite contaminated from the other wounds in that area. It's a bit hard to see, but this is definitely human teeth. What the hell, dude? Uh, well, 
Let's hope the imprint turns out better. Uh, take the appropriate tools from the suitcase to take an imprint of the bite mark. It looks kind of human. What the Brush, hell? Oh my god. Ink, man, I wonder if he was still alive there. Oh god. Similar to taking fingerprints. Mm-hmm. Approach the, the tray with a cast on it. Which tray? Oh, this tray. Paint over the area. Am I even doing anything? A tiny bit. Am I doing anything? Brush with the entire cast with pigment. I do need to open now. Oh, I need to press left click. Never mind. And put a piece of paper on it. And now we're gonna be, be able. Uh, there you that's go. Very strange. I'll run it through the facts and check it on the computer. I really don't want to believe what I'm seeing. This is so horrible. Definitely human, yeah. Match the bite mark in the criminal database. Uh, loading. <laughs> what? Wow. Uh, this is, uh, well, this is quite unexpected. Human teeth. Oh, fuck. I need to tell this to Stephen. What was it saying here? Drag the comparison part to the uh, selected dental pattern. It's not this one. It's already looking different. Hmm. Maybe not everything is catalogued correctly. Also not this one. This is looking good, though. Loading. Uh, it'll probably take a while. No? It's not this one? Loading. Uh, it'll probably take a while. Successful match. Loading. Oh, the back teeth as well. Okay. Uh, it'll probably take a while. No, no, I think we're done. Uh, finally. Again, flashbacks. The partial impression I have may match several people. Okay, this one is in prison, so he's out. Another in prison. Oh, here's someone with <laughs> quite interesting. <gasps> Cannibalistic uh, murders? It doesn't fit. This one okay, it's so blurry. It's so hard for me. It's not my glasses. Uh, Convinced of selling drugs. This will remain a mystery. The killer's profile is getting more and more interesting. Convicted of cannibalism murders. Oh my god. Okay. I need to get my pills though. Oh my god. I'm seeing so blurry. It's because I'm thinking of my wife and my kid, it seems like. Then I'm losing my, my mind. I don't need my pills. And if you think about that, there are some crazy cases in Germany where it actually happened even a couple of years ago where cannibalism oh, oh my god I was reading about this that's oh god that's I'm crazy. going back to the body <laughs> do you know cannibalism is legal in all but once it is no I didn't know that why do you know this deeds highlight the previously found wounds in the clipboard mannequin six spots yes um the head? You can see that the tool used was sharp and smooth. So, 
What if it was in the hands of an unskilled person? Low hats, a wound with an uneven structure, probably after several cuts. They look quite shallow. Someone must have inflicted these with some sort of primitive tool. The king of random effects, but he probably read it somewhere. Why is it legal in one state? What the hell? Puncture wounds with uneven cross section, penetrating organs? Probably. Torn tissue, uh, lacerations, bite wounds. A deep lacerating wound meat eaten to the bone. This wound turned out to be more troublesome than I thought it would be. A deep torn wound. Hmm. Maybe something chased that alligator away before it bit down properly? Alligator bite postmortem a wound. Same here. A deep torn wound, right? Torn piece of tissue exposing bone. Alright, let's consider everything. For obvious reasons, I record decapitation as the cause of death. I need to verify how <laughs> deep these wounds go. If they punctured the organs, hemorrhaging could have occurred. The perfect breeding ground for larvae. Fortunately, the deceased doesn't care about it, just like we do now. The abdominal and genital area are supplied with plenty of blood. If the penis was bitten off while he was alive, Evans could have bled to death. Oh, God. <laughs> this is so <laughs> Alligators rarely kill humans. <laughs> Due to the body fat of the deceased, I'm adding a heart attack to the list. Maybe Evans didn't live long enough to experience what happened to him. Uh, oh, man. I was hoping for an easier case. So we have possible death causes, decapitation, suffocation with blood, or exsanguination. <sighs> oh, God. What do you have to do? Oh, put this away. For internal analysis. Finally. <clears throat> First of all, I'll try to determine whether death occurred. But with the scalpel, I'll open the deceased's chest. I cut deep in a straight line, avoiding the navel. Is this the fat layer? It's looking a bit different than the, the other bodies with an empty hand. We see a lot of fat tissue under the skin. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. When I remove the ribs, I expect to see even more fat on the organs. Interesting. Mm, correct. High levels of internal fat. Organ size above average due to obesity. I move on to the lung analysis. We can uh, do a lung analysis by examining the organ. That is the liver. Isn't this the lung? Oh no, the this one. smoked <laughs> cigarettes. Uh, and this is the culprit. Well... It didn't look like the holes were that deep. Such hemorrhage could have been caused by hitting the chest with a blunt object Holy or a puncture directly affecting the organ. They appear to be of different depths. The cross section is uneven. Dark terry uh, lesions in the lung, smoker lungs. Open pneumothorax should be added to this. The deceased could have experienced extreme hypoxia, and as a result, Obstructive shock. The disease was struck seven times with a sharp instrument, penetrating the chest. Six steps disrupted the continuity of lung tissue, resulting in life threatening damage. I wonder what the mm -hmm. heart looks like then. The organ is enlarged with very clear but similarly to the this lungs. Is al also, this is there all fat. Puncture with a sharp object. In pneumothorax, the heart rate increases. In the event of such a wound, this would mean bleeding out faster and more. In turn, a sudden increase in the amount of fluid in the pericardial cavity could lead to cardiac tamponade, which is also a life-threatening condition. <sighs> the heart is very fatty, no sounds of heart attack. A deep heart wound penetrating the left atrium near the left pulmonary vein. No. But he did not die because of this. I cannot go back, by the way. Why not? Already marked it. 
I cannot click anything anymore. Did I bug the game again? Uh. Hi, Suzik. Welcome to the stream. Um, maybe I need to go back to main. I cannot go back anymore. <laughs> oh, please. Rotate back action. Mark the damage on the hearts. I did. I did. What does shift do? It's usually putting the clipboard away, but it's nothing is working here right now. It's bugged. It's not working, I think. Yeah, nothing is working. And usually you just have to click here and then right click again and then you're going back again. Hi dear Valentine, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Happy Sunday to you. Yeah, um it's bugged. Did you mark number one? I, I am clicking everywhere. There's nothing I can do. Usually you just have to click here. Mark the damage to the heart on the clipboard. And I think the game oh wait a second there's one, another one never mind it's not bugged uh, because we found this one as well considering this turn of events a shallow wound piercing the left atri atrium of the heart with from below mechanical injury to the heart's muzzle stab wound that disrupts its proper functioning not a bug yes this all <laughs> looks quite disturbing i wonder if i'll find anything on the liver that's the liver. The organ is fatty and enlarged. Mm. The beginnings of cirrhosis are obvious. Mm. Well, that's it. Ooh. This time, nothing to write home about. The organ is fatty with early signs of cirrhosis, a mild state of the disease with no impact on the deceased death. So, I proceed to carefully remove the stomach. Like most other organs, it is fatty and clearly enlarged, not to mention swollen. Partially due to gases, but mainly due to the deceased's lifestyle. I take the organ to the cutting board. If the outside is intact, I'm going to check the contents. All right, what's inside? What did you eat the last time? It sounds like there's an unusually large amount of undigested uh, and now rotten stomach contents inside. Mm hmm. I'm using my whole mouse pad here. All right. Uh, blood. Heavens mm -hmm. had to swallow it due to his injuries. That's not good. Which means he was still alive when he was brutally wounded in the chest. Return to the autopsy. Okay. All right. Thought this was still building soon. No, <laughs> we switched the game. This is another simulator game. I think I'll dip out. I'm so sorry, Valentine. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in, though. I appreciate that. Stomach walls intact, no signs of bleeding inside the organ, enlarged stomach with no external sign of damage, clots of undigested blood in the stomach contents, uh, which most likely flowed down the upper gastrointestinal tract. Uh, uh, decapitation is canonic. Yes, because that would not happen then. I think he actually... He, it's because of exsanguination, to be honest. Only the trachea left to be huh. examined. Surprisingly, it's not damaged by the decapitation. I move on to cutting it open. All right, let's see. Okay. I carefully cut and... Blood, just as I expected. Heavens not only swallowed it, but also choked on it. <sighs> Looks like I can wrap this up. They're almost there. Together. Huh. The blood from the injuries blocked the free flow of air. After okay. he was abducted, stripped, and tied up, he was dealt several penetrating blows to the chest. Then his head was cut off. Evans was deprived of his genitals, and the body served as an easy meal for the animals. Even though there are a lot of injuries on the body that could cause death, 
It was the decapitation that ended Evan's life. The animal bites and the limbs occurred. I tried to click death. on the suffocation so with blood, no it was not possible. The cause of death. The damage to the lungs and heart must have led to severe hemorrhaging. So there's no doubt that Evans was choking in bloody convulsions. I uh, well, there's no. Too long. I could Checking not. I could not take it, Deeds. It was not possible. I never thought I'd ever wish someone to have a heart attack. Hmm. But in this case, uh, it would have been better for him. In some way, it can be said with certainty that James Evans was murdered. So the deceased died as a result of decapitation. The examination revealed a number of perimortem injuries to the body and organs, lungs and hearts, as well as large blood loss with no signs of bleeding in the body. Oh, is this game in early access? Uh, no, it's not. But we also did slash exsanguination, question mark. But it's definitely not accident. It's also not natural. It's also not suicide. I don't know if I should take homicide. Can I put my signature already? No. Hmm. Well, time to do my signature. <laughs> it's the oh, best well. part. Uh, I need to stitch this poor guy back up. Did I maybe he fell against the knife seven times? Yeah, th that's the part you need to figure out. Like everything else can be right after. But what's the, the main reason? I mean, everything else would have probably also killed him, but would be, yeah, would be nice to know. It's just, cr what a crazy story with this one. Ah, it's really bothering me. Something's not right here. Because even now, the organs are relatively clean. The skin around wounds also, it's like, hmm, someone pumped it out? Christ, uh, I'll leave these questions for the police to solve. Place the body into the fridge. Uh, I get to head home. All right, time to eat. Eat. Uh, it's a fucked up thing. I'll hold off taking long walks in the forest for the near future. I have a feeling that it won't end with just one body. Question is, what's gonna happen next at home? Good night, Mr. Ridley. Nighty. The body. Uh, I think it's the first time in a long time that I finished Oopsie. work at a decent hour. I'll get home and what? I can't believe what I'm seeing. What am I seeing? Oh come on. Oh, fuck. I got flat tires. I get a flat tire. What the fuck? <sighs> fuck. Why would I'm you do that? Police. What the hell? Somebody did Maybe this. You saw something. To talk to Ridley. I feel I could do this job if I was able to stand blood and stuff. And I think this is very crucial. <laughs> I think that's very crucial. But you should also be able to study medicine. Ridley, do you know what happened to my car? Oh, what happened? It was to Red your car? Pete. Mm -hmm. All the tires are fucking flat. Well, it happens. Don't you have a spare in the trunk? Spare ones in the trunk. No one carries four fucking extra tires in the trunk. Jesus, Hammy, calm down. I'll call you a taxi. Calm down? That's a bit of an exaggeration, don't you think? Have you seen anyone around here? Someone strange? Suspicious? Except you? No. <laughs> uh, uh, funny. I don't find all these jokes amusing, you know. What I found it funny. Hammy, what's wrong with you? It's just tires. Such things are not a coincidence. What's wrong with me? Things keep happening. Last week... And now this? Just go wait for the taxi, okay? Fresh air would do you good. <sighs> Probably is right. You nor I will do anything about it now. Neither you nor I will do anything? What have you been doing all day? Surely something like this can't just be overlooked. Maybe you should go outside and cool down. I'm calling the taxi. Cool town. <sighs> I just... I just want to sleep. And I think we desperately need some sleep. That was chapter three, James Evans Jr. It was called. Let's see what chapter four is about. It would be 
easier just to move in and live here. I <laughs> doubt I'll get reimbursed. I really don't want to oh. live here. What was that? What the hell is the yeah, sound? Uh, uh, it's already late in the evening. Good evening. Any news for me? Mm -hmm. About my car? You know, flat tires? No. No, what? Have you checked the cameras? Anything? Hand and I cut my teeth working in prison. I know what to do. What? There were no strangers hanging around. Maybe you ran over something. What? All the tires? Quite possibly. You can congratulate yourself. Ugh, Christ. You should try sleeping more. You've been kind of out of it lately. That's the first bit of sense you've made all evening. Good. The body is expected to be ready for pickup tonight, along with your lecture. What? What? No, what? You still pontificating? Best hurry, don't you think? This wouldn't have happened if you had a tank to drive. I don't think we can afford a tank, right? Oh, fuck me. I don't have the strength for this today. Oh. Have I taken my pills today? I, I or, uh, don't think we did. One more won't hurt. Just one more time, son. I need to focus. Oh, fuck. I don't have much. Okay, okay. One by one, Jack. T take, take it easy. Oh. Oh God, what is this, buddy? Running issue indeed. Oh on no. Ah oh, shit. That's a luxury. I almost forgot. I'm gonna need the camcorder. Uh, this is uh, making me nervous. <laughs> the pill animation is so violent and reminds me of Mimi's Ananites. I had to do it aggressively so the healing is even stronger. Nevers. <laughs> you remember them. Uh, take the camera from the storage room. Um, oh, it's right here. He's on the tripod in dissecting room. Yeah, that buddy is looking horrible. Yeah, it's looking horrible. Oh, God, no. Oh, my God, he was burning alive, it's looking like. Goodness. Oh, well. This is not the best framing. No. Hello, everyone. It's the 20... <clears throat> something of uh, November 1991. Jack Hanlon is uh, conducti conducting the autopsy. Yes, um, uh, you... Well, you already know the drill, so... Uh, the body is on the slab. Let's see what the police uncovered first. All right, uh, so, the police folder. The victim is from yesterday's apartment block fire on Crowner Street. Personal details unknown. First picture. The exact cause of the fire has not yet been determined. However, it is known that the fire started in the deceased's apartment, where the most damage was reported. The body was not found until the next morning. The tenant was naked, charred, and with severe burns. The owner of the apartment asked about the deceased. He was surprised anyone even lived there. Why was he even... tied in his apartment? The deceased was sitting in an armchair near the TV. Pieces of pornographic material, an ashtray, melted video cassettes, and several bottles of so-called poppers were found in the vicinity. It's difficult to assess whether any escape attempts were made. I cannot read this one. I guess it's uh, gibberish. Firefighters indicated that it was probably the large quantity of poppers found near the deceased and rapid spread of the fire. <coughs> well, that's our basic question. Whether the death occurred as a Let's explain the rope around his neck. He was dead Maybe. Before it. I think we got everything. As you can see, the body is in <sighs> an unusual pose. Mm -hmm. For the purpose of photographic documentation, we'll leave it like that for now. Would you break the bones of that person anyway now? This
This position is called the pugilistic attitude. This is due to the influence of high temperature on the muscles. Oh, God. Gotta zoom in a bit. The fire reaches the skin first, then the soft tissue, until the skeletal muscles are exposed. There is chest. Goodness, it's so black. Coagulation occurs in exposed muscles due to their fibers shrinking. The extensors yield to the force of the flexors. Then his uh, leg. The muscles contract and contract until the limbs become flexy and deformed. I bet forensic medicine would be super interesting to study. Yeah, um, I said this yesterday as well. A friend of mine wanted to study this one, but to, s to be able to study medicine in Germany, you need to have the, the best grades at all. Um, and if not, the waiting time is literally seven, not seven, but several years. So um, I think that these kind of studies, they kind of popped up as well because there were a lot of shows about these kind of stuff. Um, I feel like, and not everyone is, yeah, well, it's still a bit different if you're, if you're helping out people while alive or, well, dead people, huh? Yeah. But yeah, it would be interesting, but the I don't think I would be able to do that. Triple bend, similar to a boxer holding his hands in front of him. I mean, even with funerals, people who are taking care of the, the bodies, that's it's also some heavy stuff, but it's important work, Just and I'm pretty sure that work is, uh, well, it's never going to get into taken over by AI. On the grill. We're missing one more picture, and I don't know where this is. Oh, his face. Hat? Teeth? Where is it? Or is the... Oh, okay. It must be here somewhere. Let me take a picture! The ropes are in Texas. You're right! They're not looking very much burned. I cannot take a picture of this. Hello. It has something to do with the teeth or what? I'm clicking everywhere. But look at this. It is... I'm gonna go back. I really wish I could just put the camera back. No, it needs to be from there. From the other side. <laughs> What's the problem here? <laughs> Please, I don't want to look. This is so awkward. I'm looking into the face of someone who was having so much pain. I cannot take a picture. This hat? No. So not from this angle. Only from this. His nose? No. Non-existent. Well, this is torture for me right now. His eyes? Uh, I got it. It's end, his eyes. No. Okay. Just I just had to find that per perfect spot to take a picture of this guy. Okay. Everything else was not allowed to. That doesn't make sense. The deceased must now be straightened out, and we need to get rid of these bindings. Remove the rope spanning the cadaver. He looks to have been tied up the deceased's neck. 
Which explains why, despite the severe burns, the deceased's limbs are... Ah, that's better. It's easier to straighten him now. Without taking out the magnifying glass, we already know that the deceased's skin is heavily charred and cracked. Probably time of death, 2 to 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. All right, magnifying As glass. The other, there are crow's feet visible near the eyes. Upper lip reveals front teeth. One of the incisors is broken. There's soot in the nostrils. A snack? The rope around the neck wasn't very tight. I don't see it leaving a mark on the skin. Then let's just look at his chest. It's completely you burned. You can clearly see that this is primarily the front oh. of the deceased that was exposed to fire. Uh, his hand. The rope marks around the wrists are deep and clearly visible. The victim sat in the chair the whole time, hence his back being in much better condition than this extremely burned area. Looks as if a large flap of skin had attached from the calf. Hmm. This is where the other ropes were. The rope at the man's ankles was tied much tighter and more precisely than the one around his wrists. Oh, you can actually see it. All in all, quite a lot can be deduced from this external examination. All right, time for the clipboards. Uh, starting with Traces a snack. failed to indicate that the deceased suffocated before the fire took hold. Oh, that must have been terrifying. Severe burns covering approximately 80% of the epidermis. He appears to be loosely tied. However, this is the result of the corpse drying out. The wound shows that the rope had deeply imprinted itself in the tissue. Uh, predominance of fourth and third degree burns. The burns reach through the dermis and hypodermis to reach the muscles. The body is covered in numerous areas. The length of the rope was calculated, and appears that the deceased could make limited movements around the perineum. So what do we have? A delicate trace of the rope emptying into the tissue. Burns cover approximately 80% of the body. The front of the body suffered more serious burns than the back. A deep skin breaking wound from a rope. Third and fourth degree burns disturbing the continuity of tissues. Body with areas stripped down of skin and open wounds, and then uh, rope wounds, severely charred skin. There are nine parts. Did I find everything? The eye clenching is a natural reaction of the body to high temperatures. Crossfeed suit, deposits visible in the wrinkles. I think I am still missing something. Soot in the nose appears. Oh yeah, his face. Harmful and choking smoke. Nostrils filled with soot. The tissue of the mouth was heavily burned as well. The teeth, however, makes me wonder. The conclusions are quite clear. Burned to the mouth and oral cavity, broken incisor up to the root level. Damn. It looks like the deceased was a fan of choking while masturbating. Deaths due to a predilection for asphyxophilia do occur, but not in this case. The extent of the thermal stresses on the body could have caused this death. I'm sorry, but I'm th right now I'm just thinking this is such a stupid way to die. This is, un this is so unfortunate. Wounds on the wrists and ankles this guy wanted to have fun. The deceased and, well, been struggling in panic. It, it was not fun anymore. Burns to the genitals and groin are an additional concussive factor. This is due to the high vascularity and innervation of this area. In this case, I don't assume that this was a delayed death. The mixture of fear, sexual arousal, and drugs could have caused a heart attack. It may seem incidental, but for us it's a sign that the deceased was most certainly conscious. We need to check the damage inhaling all that smoke has done to the respiratory tract. Too bad it ended like this. I, I agree. Because I think if he would have just fun without the kinky stuff, um, then it wouldn't have happened. 
because he would have been able to to run out of the home out of the house but yeah that was not possible anymore perhaps the deceased lost a tooth attempting to bite through the rope i will assess the extent of possible poisoning and burning in a moment first i'll try to establish the victim's identity due to the amount of charring we are unable to collect the victim's fingerprints. Visual identification is also out of the question. You can probably guess what options we are left with. Yes. You it. <laughs> okay. We need to get Let's the tools well. again I from the lab. This time, time. Uh, maybe in this drawer. I'll warm this up in my hands. Make a cast of the teeth. <clears throat> okay. Making an impression is quite simple. You put trays with alkanate into the mouth and press them together in one firm movement until you feel significant resistance um make a cast of the teeth why can't i open this now am i missing th something from the lab those donuts are five million years old Took me a moment to remember that it's not my birthday at least so much time so <laughs> dear pan happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday i wish you only the best you have an amazing day <laughs> happy birthday make a cast of the teeth i don't think i forgot anything in this room no Maybe I need to right click again. Ah, oh. yes, I had to. Once the devices have been placed. <sighs> Dude, I also had to uh, do this apologies. at my dentist the I last time for my night guard. Okay. Again, we will need a piece of paper, a brush, and ink. We will make a plaster model of the deceased's teeth from the obtained impression. We will then make an impression of the mold on a piece of paper, which will be scanned into the computer. All right. You're a professional now. Uh, you see, it seems so simple and yet laborious. On the plus side, we don't have to worry about the gag reflex with the deceased. And no need to remind the subject to breathe either. At least he saved the high cost of orthodontic treatment. It's interesting that he's using his fax machine to make the picture bigger. That's so weird. <laughs> All right. Match the bite mark in the criminal database. <clears throat> Let's go. Wow. Who would have expected a match so soon? Oh, okay. Um, the deceased is Richard, Richard Jacobson. Jacobson. 47 years old. He had a That's my birthday the 3rd of March. Oh, That's wow. my birthday, dude! Enough returning a videotape to the rental shop. Oh, Jesus. I better check if I've still got that copy of... Uh, uh, where were we? Charged with a felony for not returning a VHS tape. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sentenced to one year in prison? What? Okay, chat. What the hell? For a VHS tape? Summoned to court for evading payment of a fine. Fine for not returning VHS. <laughs> oh, because he didn't. Oh, he did. Yes, he didn't do this for quite some time. Fine for drug possession, Mariana. Uh huh. Okay, I'll add some details to the clipboard. Return to the autopsy. Okay, and we can move on to dissecting the body. This time, I'll go straight for the loppers. Oh god. Oh god. I'll really? Slice it piece by piece. Let me start here. Oh. I push hard several times. Okay, a small mini game. Until I cut a given section. You can see that using a scalpel would be pointless here. Yeah. Yeah, that's true just so burned down <sighs> solid crunch mm -hmm. almost there
now we peel back the skin. Ah. <sighs> now to remove the ribs. The loppers. And we can check out what's going on in here. Oh God. I see that a lot has happened. Uh, in fact, the entire abdominal cavity is flooded. Blood and other fluids have seeped from the blood vessels, flooding the abdomen. Oh, uh, that's areas. why. We have to get rid of this. Uh, I'll go get a cup or a ladle. Ladle. Okay. Yeah, it's because of the heat. That's horrible. That's horrible. Um, the lamp. I think I saw one. Where did I see here. one? Oh, it's right here. Uh, uh, I don't have all night. I'm going to need a vacuum pump. Uh, great. The running around for everything starts again. Uh, Ridley! Can't things be tidied away properly in this damn mortuary? Uh, I'm gonna get Ridley. Mr. Ridley? Mr. Ridley? He's not here. The basement and check. Oh god, I hate going outside. I wasn't listening when you wrote, uh, wrote down his name, but in case you didn't know, John Doe is kind of... Yeah, yeah, I know this. This is his pl placeholder name. When the child identity of someone dead or alive is unknown. That's true, yeah. I also should have said that, maybe. All right. Please don't scare me. Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know what... Oh my god, why is this so loud? Scrap. I'm sorry, but why do the plants next to the front door it looks like a person silhouette? I actually didn't even see. Uh, where is that would have scared machine? me, probably. Alright, uh, for the pump. Uh, that's wow, the pump. That's heavy. Can I fit through the door with this? I'm gonna make it fit. Was yeah, this is what I'm seeing. I it's I'm this game is on super loud on my PC now. <sighs> like Alice. And on the title screen, the music upstairs. is also very loud. Who is supposed to go to the mountains then? Check I'm it out. Indoors, left of the door. Oh, I don't know how long. And Alice, Alice. Which one? You mean this one? No. Indoors, left of the door human that's these are you tripping <laughs> man. oh of me. As always, she now he's back a letter fuck who delivers letters at this time it's probably been sat in his office for ages just didn't want to move his honestly ass. if this place would have like white ties it would already look so much more different uh, <clears throat> so uh, <clears throat> we have the equipment now i have to place it somewhere close to the table over here. Oh, now it's here. Yeah, I can finally put this thing down. All right, just what? There's no tube. No one's used this for a long time. I apologize to you all once again. Maybe there is something used in the social room. I am a bit sus of this now. I don't want to go there, but we have to. Why should I go to the social room for this? Uh, these lockers could contain everything we need. Or is it not screwed? Uh, get the padlock code to get inside here. the locker. Yep. I'm sure I wrote the code down on a piece of paper. And where did you write this down? Am I gonna guess around or what? Nice, there's brain. What? What? Oh god! Okay, I'm not gonna make fun of a brain anymore. What do you want from me? Where's this co- I'm panicking, dude. Why is there a brain inside? I thought this is a social room, not the psychopath room. Maybe it's in my office. Oh no, this is not my office. <laughs> Always be nice. It's my birthday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, please.
Why am I not knowing my own code? Oh. Uh -huh. Three, six, four, nine. Okay. Three, six, four, nine. Three, six, four, nine. Three, seven, four, nine. Oh, no, three, six, uh, four, nine. Three, what are you saying? Seven, nine, Stop it! He's confusing me. Three, six, four, nine. Ta-da! Thank you, Des. <laughs> My own character is confusing here? me. Boxes of disinfectants, syringes, thread. Oh, uh, oh a baby model. No, oh, that's interesting. Antiseptics, but here. Okay. What am I doing with this book? Did I do it for fast? There, ah! Oh, Why is this inside? Oh, Alice. I regret so much. Oh, Every God. Every fucking day. I can't. I can't take it anymore. He also can't God. do this job anymore. Sounds like you need therapy. Definitely. How's it going? Definitely. Good, thanks. And what about you? You sound Because tired. only taking pills uh, is not I gonna uh, help uh, him. He needs uh, to talk about the stuff. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, tiring day at work. That's it. You scared me last time we spoke. Uh, I'm sorry. I uh, I didn't want to cause any trouble and say what I said. Jack, it's all right. You're not causing any trouble. I'm not surprised at all that. No, no, really. I mean it. Sorry. I I just no, I'm fed up with myself. You should take care of yourself. Didn't you say you wanted to stay at home longer? To rest? You know I pick up the slack at work. No, I didn't. I can't. I don't want to be there. Well, uh, why not consider taking a trip, Jack? Dorothy, please. I really don't have the energy for this today. No, I just wish. Stop it. Uh, why are you calling? Reminder about annual drug testing. I thought... I figured you probably didn't remember. Oh, yes. I've, uh, had a lot going on. I, uh, even forgot my own birthday. <laughs> Leave your samples at reception on your way home. So oh, it was also the birthday yesterday of my character, Pan. Steven or someone else at the mm -hmm. station. Sure. I'll try not to forget. Okay, well, uh... Jack? Try not to do anything stupid, okay? Would Alcohol, never. Your medication. You know you shouldn't. I have it all under control. Uh, I should be getting back to work. The results should be in tomorrow. I'll call you when we know. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. Three six three six four nine. Three six four. Wait, nine. did I bug it out because three, I took seven, it? Four nine. Uh, Answer the phone seven, in Jack's nine, Jack's office. <sighs> Oh, check the bathroom for your pills. Okay. I'll take care of it before I go home. Birthday brother. <laughs> uh, I feel terribly weak. There's been a bit too much going on lately. But you know, it's the 90s when men were still expected to just <clears throat> suck it up. Like the hose. I mean, it got better, but the problem is still there. The problem is still there. When people are not manly enough and it's... It's making me so angry when I'm hearing stuff like that. Yeah, 30 years ago it was even worse. Oh, th rummage through the box. We need to go back to the social room. All right. I don't know. I'm keeping the door closed, uh, hoping that the, the ghosts or zombies are not following me. I got the tube though. Focus on your work, Jack. Mm-hmm. The ghost would go through, right? Yeah, the rabbit. Oh my god. 
We gotta play Fasmo again, but I, I, right. I think I'm gonna scream the next time. Here I am. I hope that was the last long break in this session. So, let's connect the tube. Set the pump to full speed. We turn on the machine. With this amount of fluid, there's no point in holding back. We see something, we turn to the cork. Pump lot. Ah! Still a few nooks and crannies left. Goodness. Power wash just a bit the other way around. Are you even getting less here? External examinations did not reveal any tissue defects, so I expect the organs to be intact. There is something here left. Hello. In a way, it's quite extraordinary that even with such severe burn, the organs are all present and correct. Blood sucker achievement. <laughs> indicates high like a vampire. Levels. The level of which I will the ears are reminded to stay hydrated. I will be inserting <laughs> needles into the heart and femoral <laughs> artery. What interests me here is not the presence of this substance itself, but rather its Make percentage your brother of the sample. Uh, nice! I feel like a vampire now. Update, update for fast mode. Dropped five days ago. Oh yeah, I saw over Steam. I saw over the Steam news. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, another sample. A release in, in, in Lighthouse. Yeah, I think that's going to be very spooky. I also saw. All right, re it retrieved the notebook from the office with the necessary values to the ref uh, centrifuge. Ugh. For some reason, my character is always forgetting about them. I'm gonna get jump scared. No, I'm not. Uh, it's still an early access. Ah, oh, it's gonna take years, Des. I've got a feeling until then, people are gonna lose their interest. Recovered from the site of fire may have very oh, we'll see. Complex histories. Burning is only at the surface. Underneath, it may be a heart attack, stroke. Or pulmonary epilepsy. This particular case appears quite basic. All right, we need to find the right page again. Um, no. Nope. Fine, no. Is it this one? 1085, I'm not quite sure. Let's try it out. It's probably n this one. However, I would warn against making a diagnosis too hastily. A fire victim does not always mean death due to smoke inhalation. I'm going to lose. I think people already have lost their interest. Yeah, I mean, the game, they got released in early access four years ago, and that was such a success. I feel like where's, where's the point now of actually releasing the game properly? I, but I also don't know how many active people are playing. Maybe you guys can see this. Uh, but yeah, it's been... I feel like it's been too long. I'm generally... Mm, it's leaving a bad taste when there is a game which is over two years in early access. At some point, why are you... I know why they're doing this, but I am slightly getting annoyed by the amount of early access games. But the other side is, um, I've got plenty of other games to play in between, so... They can take their time, but I'm not gonna lose my interest until then. Yeah, they're kind of misusing the status, if you ask me. 
Yeah, I mean, it's it's nice when they are listening to the community, but you're always you're always reading this nowadays. Yeah, based uh, we wanna we're putting this in early access. We wanna listen to the community. That's always the same thing. And it's probably also right, but yeah, it just takes so much time. On the I'm also not a game dev to be honest. But let's take the the samples now. So as usual, I will take the samples to the laboratory, and I'll be back yes. with the results shortly. Ugh. Oh, that was the lab. What exactly was I supposed A to do? A lab which for? is just so dark. Uh, C O H B. Uh, I'll take two milliliters of each sample. Um, set up two milliliter. Okay. Do. do. Oh, ooh, ooh, okay. Is this 20 now? Okay, that was 20 now. Two. <laughs> Ugh. And this is gonna be four. Da, 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 da. Da, da. All right. And then enter chromatograph it's called. What do we have here? Well, confirmed. Death due to carbon monoxide poisoning. Mm. Carboxy hemoglobin levels at 84%. All right. I'll note this down and perform a check of the organs. Begin a thorough heart analysis by examining the organ. What? Where? Mr. Ridley? Where am I? Okay! Find through the complex to find the lost, but why? Okay, oh, man, eh. Take that fucking body. Don't scare me now, don't! La 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 la. La 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 la. I don't understand what's going on. La 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 la. I bet it's sitting here somewhere. Maybe he's in the fridge. Are you actually in the fridge? Something. No, there's food now. There was brain though. What the? Imagine something. Yeah, man. Where's the buddy, Chad? Where's the buddy? Sazuli, stop fighting! Why did you take the body? What body? Well, the body, you know, from the autopsy room. Christ, him! I didn't take any of your bodies. So who took it? I have no idea what you're talking about. But I... Get back to work. It's late. You know what? I'm fearing that it's suddenly gonna appear in front of me and screaming. Bitte nicht. Please not. Okay, he's back. Yeah, he was doing his was out for a stroll. What is this sound? Uh, <laughs> well, then we can uh, from the results. The camera is still running. You got to pull yourself together. Wh what do you we have to do? Be sure that the carboxy hemoglobin concentrate. The organ has a reddish pink tint, which results from the concentration of COHB and general congestion of the organ. Other than that, I can cross this off my list now. But I like the, the wobbly heart. The organ is congested, high COHB concentration, other on symptoms, no other symptoms of the disease. I need to exclude it. Death is a result of thermal burns, heart attack, or gas poisoning. We but it's excluded now. Carefully. On the outside, just like the heart, it is congested, and the color indicates poisoning. Thermal damage is visible here and there. Richard Enough Jacobson. It's time to grab the knife and dissect the lungs. Why don't you check the video to see what happened? 
I think we are not able to do this actually. That would be very smart. So you can actually see, okay, it's only in my mind. Very good idea, but I don't think my character is able to do that. Uh, the organ has congested the high COG HP concentration. Um, what do you have to do? Oh, just putting this back. I need to check for any obstruction, burns, or clots. Uh, All right. Jesus. Time to slide. I'm a whole mouse pad and back. Poor. I'm working. <laughs> mm. All right. You can oh. see changes in the lung parenchyma caused by burns and smoke inhalation. Nothing new here. Return to the autopsy. For someone with, who's trained, that's trained for forensics. He's not really ruling out things that could have. He's maybe he knows that it, it, it's in his mind. He's hallucinating. I think he knows. So let's complete the. These notes. things are not real. Yeah. Let's check the trachea. If you're hi, movie. Welcome to the stream every Sunday. Damage inside the organ caused by inhalation of smoke. The cross section shows burns uh, lesions on the lung parenchyma. The color is the same as the rest of the organs. Significant congestion. The organ is congested high CHOB like concentration. What do you have to do? Nothing. Oh, now I need to go to the metal tray. Okay, the final cut. Cut take through the check here. Da 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 da. Oh. There are visible burns inside, but what catches the eye the most is the amount of soot. Ugh. Looks like our subject was in the thick of the fire. Let's deal with the final notes, and we're ready to go. Final notes? Let's deal with the final notes, and we're ready to go. Edematous? Okay. I considered the direct cause of death to be severe carbon monoxide poisoning, leading to extreme hypoxia of the body. So is it considered gas poisoning then? Is it is this actually gas then? The extreme burns I'll just of take the deceased's it. body and respiratory tract indicate that he must have been surrounded. Yeah, by carbon fire. monoxide poisoning. The examination, no other factors were found that could have contributed to the victim's death. Environmental data does not indicate any third-party involvement. So it was an accident. Just need to add my John Hancock and sew up the body. Inspection of the body showed very severe thermal injuries and a high concentration of carbon monoxide in the body, which led to death, no sign of stroke, embolism, or heart attack. Can I also do right here? <laughs> He's so sus. I'll close the body, trying not to damage what's left of the skin. As for stitching, well, it varies. It can well. be that the fire victims are in such a condition that there is nothing left to stitch. So for this job, a thicker needle and heavy-duty thread. Oh, oh, okay, interesting. Usually it's like very close by, but this time it's not. Well, done. Well, everything's holding together. Keeping it together oh, I'm forgetting the Uvu the whole time. Or, well, next time. Next time. the body, there's nothing left for me to do. But thank you for your attention. All Yeet! Rest, and good night. Oh, my God. What an exhausting day. Uh, I need to get these gloves off and call a taxi. I swear I'm about to pass out from exhaustion. Oh, fuck. You're in sample. Oh, no. Uh... Oh, for my okay, drug test. Quick. I was wondering why is this here? A container. It'll... Okay, this is it. <laughs> Wait, dear. Guys, I am not ever going to go to the bathroom with you now. <laughs> really? 
okay cool close your eyes please thank you we're done mm. I'm dehydrated I should drink more water yes oh my god players are reminded to stay hydrated mm -hmm. I thought I, I I thought for a second we we're gonna we would see some some special parts players are reminded to stay hydrated mm -hmm. The reason why I'm walking sideways because I was drinking. All right, uh, Ridley, I got my my sample here. As there expected, you go. Double zip. <laughs> like a log. Oh, I'm jealous. Oh, I can see his face. Is he dead? Ridley, are you dead? What did you say? What do I need to do? Can repeat again? Oh yeah, my car is... I'm, I'm just gonna call the taxi. He's looking very dead, dude. Okay. Uh. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> yep, okay, I'm out of here. Hello. I would uh, like to order a taxi to 574 Presley Street. Okay, hun. Uh, all of our drivers are busy at the moment. Best I can do is within the next hour. An hour? Oh, no. Uh, all right. Let it be. Can I take your name? Jack Hanman. Okay, thank you. Uh, do you have our loyalty card? No. Would you like to set one up? We're regular customers. We have discounts and extra... You can hear that she's faster. chewing a gum. I thought so. Thank now we're let the survivor see because I'm so scared. Giving me a headache. I'm just laughing because I'm nervous. Oh, Jesus, what now? Yes, I'm still wearing my gloves. Jack. Jack. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? <laughs> Thank you guys for clipping. Oh <laughs> Thank you. What was that? My my dead wife is calling me. Cool. What the fuck? Man, man, Jack, you need therapy, man. <laughs> this was some kind of mistake. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, and pills and whiskey. Nice, Mimi, nice. <laughs> oh, strong. <laughs> nice. Everything's spinning. Am I dreaming now? Tripping? Yeah, I'm dreaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of dead bodies now. Okay, cool. Help me. was just color right chapter five just the shining <laughs> do, do I, uh, is this? yeah pills and alcohol nice combination fucking shit i went too far this time what <laughs> What's the... What's, what's that? Oh, fuck. Okay, first of all, my pills. Officially hate this game. I'm gonna learn without... Oh, but I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
Thank you for the lurk, though. There was a brick on the floor. I wanted to check out from outside, actually. I didn't see the brick. Damn, you guys got uh, some good eyes. There is! <laughs> that hit me? Is that blood? Oh, God, what's happened? Oh, Mr. Ridley? Ridley doesn't care. <sighs> oh, fuck. Can't you hear all this commotion? Are you deaf? <laughs> sure, whatever you say, Hen. Why is that even funny? Do I need to bring you the evidence? Sure, if you have some. <laughs> Me? I think you slept too much myself. Go and see for yourself. <sighs> I'm going home. <sighs> the taxi is probably waiting. The one they left yesterday? I was about yesterday. to say, how, how long did oh, we so sleep? It's evening. Friday, November 29th, Hanman. 29th of November. Oh, I... Sorry, I forgot that this was... Don't worry. I did too. Somehow. I just... Uh, By the way, look. Red oh Pete on the loose. God. Apex treatment. Should I call Dorothy? I've set up the cadaver ready for the autopsy. I she saw. She should be able to replace you. Oh. There's no need. I'd be happier staying here. He's crazy. Sitting at home. He's so crazy. Uh, just in case, uh, this is... Let me know. Sure. Uh, I guess I should take my pills. I just took them. I'm always taking them. You have an advantage of sitting in the back. Yeah, I am focused on a lot of things. <laughs> then I'm not oh, seeing the obvious things. The most important of things. I need to put on the apron already. Okay, that's a bit different. Every fucking time. Uh, oh my god. Oh. Alice. No. There is already, buddy. It's okay, over. this one oh, is just... horribly so looking. Tired. What the hell? So damn tired. God. Uh, okay. Someone done. You're professional, but I, I really think he can't do this job uh, anymore. Uh, this guy's gonna overdose uh, any day now with his books. I think so as well. Year 1991. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Thirty. She still a no, of course not. She did, she's not even having an arm and a leg. The outskirts of the city. Investigators determined that the victim was most likely dumped close to the nearby forest. She crawled to the bus stop on her own, as evidenced by the traces of blood she left behind. The body was lying in the grass beside the road. There good night, Pan. Sleep well and have a good start to the new week. The Take bus. care. Even dying costs you an arm and leg now. <laughs> According to the information provided by the aforementioned friend, the car belonged to the Hurricane Taxi Network. The company was provided with a description of the driver. However, they deny that any of their drivers fit the description. The police have been looking for the man since yesterday. And the tattoos. A friend at the salon testified that the last time she saw Amber was two weeks ago. It was her last day at work before a vacation. At around 9.40 p.m., she left a taxi for a flight to Amsterdam. Does that guy look like Red Pete Kanda? Or is it me? I think you're actually uh, right. Why do people do such things? I mean, we can look. I'll move on, I'll move on to undressing the deceased. There is a poster. We can look. We can quickly have a look. But I think they're actually looking similar. Maybe not anymore. Maybe it's the beard. Maybe it's the beard. I'm telling you, a beard is giving you a complete different, uh, yeah, appearance. Remove the clothes. The deceased was now. <clears throat> Photographic uh, documentation. I 
I don't even know where to start here. The deceased's skin is extremely pale. No liver mortis is visible. Yeah, I don't know where to start here. Lots of rough, irregular but somewhere. slashing cuts. The deceased is caked in dirt and mud. Oh god, this non-existing arm. Is missing her right arm. Why? Alright, let's go to the other side now. The deceased is also missing her left leg. Why? front of the hand is covered with numerous wounds. Okay, don't take a picture of her hand. Oh, there's also something on her forehand. Uh, extensive hematoma on the victim's forehead. Okay, and the last... Not seeing anything. Could be this here. Oh, I think I found it. Several signs of redness on the uh, yeah, almost neck an egg. Mm -hmm. Looks like a hickey. A that was a hickey, right? But that would be a big one. That would be a very big one. Holy moly. Right arm, general, left arm, head, right leg, stomach, left leg, chest, and neck. My god, it's so much. Why is she so... <clears throat> Focus. The overall picture is... There are leaves around. Uh, I'll grab the magnifying glass. All right. Head. The wound looks relatively fresh. The deceased could have fallen, or maybe she was struck hard. Then her chest and neck. Minor redness appearing in several places. Her right arm, the non-existent. Wounds were stitched up by someone who knew what they were doing. However. It seems that the sewing was done in a hurry, and quite carelessly at that. <laughs> there are no signs of internal bleeding, detectable through an internal examination. The wound on the bend of the elbow seems much deeper. I'm wondering about this bruising. This is also so Both horrible. The arm and leg were taken all the way to the joint. The perpetrator used a scalpel, but the cut line itself looks jagged. What? These wounds appear to have been caused by crawling across rough I thought ground. she would open her eyes at the inspect. I would immediately stop playing uh, then. Maybe I didn't see. Sum this up somehow. This injury could have been fatal for Alice. It seems that the perpetrator was very interested in preserving as much skin as possible on the removed limbs. Some of the wounds were made by the victim crawling, and the hickeys... hickeys are not fatal. But in this situation, they are worth examining. I assume that the deceased had a cannula inserted and was groggy the entire time. There appear to be no signs of struggle. <laughs> I was thinking so hard what was hickeys in German again. It took me so long until I figured out it's called Knutschfleck. I completely forgot about that word. It's a Knutschfleck. The stitching doesn't appear <laughs> I was thinking so long. Amber appears to have suffered like this for at least a few days. I don't remember saying that word. When did I even say that word? 
Long time ago. Know the exact circumstances of the wounds, or the conditions in which the deceased was kept. The perpetrator definitely didn't realize how tremendous will to live she had. So we got a fresh, potentially fatal hematoma on the left side of the frontal bone. Right arm removed at the shoulder line, inflammation at the suture side. Irregularly distributed redness, scratches and hickeys on the neck and chest, irregular wounds on the inside of the entire arm, trace of cannula in the elbow bend. The torn is covered with bruises and wounds of various origins. No signs of internal bleeding. Leg removed between the hip bone and femur. The stump is abraded and inflamed. Relatively deep le uh, lacerations and abrasions on the front of her leg. Possible death causes. Maybe it was an accident. Or perhaps the final blow. Subdural hematoma. Even though the wounds were stitched closed, they were clearly reopened by the act of crawling. Alice suffered a lot because of this sicko. Exsanguination. Mm -hmm. I'll check with the UV lamp whether what the perpetrator did. Good idea. Extensive toxicological tests should help determine what substances she was given. There are many indications that she wasn't aware of what she was being put through. It is unknown how much blood Amber lost during her escape, and especially how much during the procedure performed on her. Infection could have set in, even if that wasn't... Uh, Oopsie. I uh, will uh, check cases like these can be uh, strong and clear traces of... Oh my god, they wrote something! Why? Alice, Alice, you know that I would did never... Did you do that? Why did you do that? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Jack. Always the question. Please. Alice, say, why did you do that? It's just... <sighs> yourself together why can you tell can someone please tell me why is he still working in this job <clears throat> well, do you think it's still there, you can see that there no it's not the most likely saliva it's not saying why did you do that Mm-hmm. Oopsie. Money, probably. But his mental health is so insanely bad. Fight for survival. Traces of smeared blood from wounds. The perpetrator was obviously looking for an opportunity to fulfill his paraphilia uh, oh christ the police will have plenty to do if i can find my hard drive i could just take an x-ray i'll move these tables away and make room for the x-ray machine <laughs> okay okay all right she is haunting me going on here it is after midnight i'm gonna die tonight please i can't oh my god oh my god oh my, my god mind. i must have gone crazy okay back to normality okay all right it's oh, good money even back then it was like at least 80. still is like money is not everything yeah. he's clean and not doing all right disturbing. oh my hard drive is over there Who's opening this the whole time? Oh, the hole is not here anymore. Did we fix it? Oh, I think I'm just tired. Where's the x ray? What was this sound now? Lipstick. Whee! Oh, these bulbs need changing. But in the lab, maybe? 
No, maybe storage. Where's the X-ray machine? I'm walking extra slow now, right? There is no X-ray machine. So so crazy. This whole game is just at this area and a little bit in his office. They all know. What? Did you answer your phone? Telephone? <laughs> what phone? We all know. <laughs> the phone rang a few minutes ago. Uh, I didn't hear anything. For you to take medicine. How so? For you to get results. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll call them back. I bet it's in the cellar. I bet we're gonna be able to walk this into this room later on. Oh, my my car is working again. The flat tires are gone. Ah, uh, okay. Did anyone ask already? Can we? Mar no, nobody did. Nobody did. Uh, I think uh, this game is too spooky. Let's see. Maybe it's in the cellar. Why is this so loud? Just the basement chat. Everything is... Oh my god. Oh my god. I look this... I look at this guy. Okay. I'm too jumpy right now. It's a trap deeds. There is no x-ray machine here. Honestly, where is it? Maybe it was in the autopsy room the whole time. It's not here. Are we even able to go into the shed? Okay, I don't want to do this. I don't think we can. No, no, no. Maybe they stole it. Why can't we just ask Ridley again? Hey Ridley, where's the exertion? Yes, sir, it's uh, in this room. Did you forget? No problem. Okay, it's not here. Maybe we sold it. Isn't this usually quite big? Papita, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome here. Happy Sunday. Is it not the X-ray hand? What is the hand thingy? That coffin room does have radioactive stickers, doesn't it? Uh, let me see. Wait, isn't this the X-ray? No, what is this? Oh, I think I found. <laughs> well, I found it. Well, usually it is quite big. Oh, I guess I've been here too long. Please don't scare me. It's just an X-ray machine. How many days is it? <laughs> it was so obvious I couldn't see. Turning it on, take the detection plate from the side of the machine. Mount the panel under the head of the corp. Ah. Oh, no. And frame. Now center it between the eyes at the root of the nose. I don't know how to do that. Frame the hat. Is this not good enough? I 
I, I don't I don't know why it needs to be super accurate. I, I don't understand this about this game. Like, isn't this accurate now? Yeah, I know the light is showing the area, but isn't this enough of the hat? Even more than that? And now, hello. Like, it's... Why does it need to be so accurate? I don't understand. So the maximum... It's not the maximum. You're just doing the brain? Yeah, that's also not working. That's the brain. Trim the hat and take the x-ray. Yeah, okay, I don't know what the game wants from me. Not speaking English, that's completely fine. I mean, we're understanding you, right? <laughs> English is also not my native language. Hmm. I I don't understand why it needs to be insanely accurate. Okay. Looks okay, okay, now suddenly it works. I don't understand. No. He said something. He's not giving me even feedback. Oh, no, there you go. I thought for sure this whole thing would have tripped the brain. Maybe I just had to press the button oh, the whole right. time anyway. I'll prick the image and, uh, I need to Wait, he was in this go. room while they took There's the X-ray? You sure you're leaving the room? What the hell? Print out. Uh, where am I printing out? Computer. Not running. Did he say we need to go to your office? Well, let me go to my office then. Or usually we're doing this. I mean, <laughs> internal auditory canals. Alice, that's more we didn't. Oh, here, sciences. laboratory. Why did this have to happen to her? And now I can print it. We got an X-ray. Looks like a good exposure, but why? Why can't I see the wound? I need to look at this in the light box. Where's the light box now? Light box. Over here. Uh, strange. I guess I'll have to repeat. Let there be light. I knew this luck wouldn't last. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Storage room. We know this. Perhaps Don't panic, Amy. It's not new. Over the edge. And now it's all broken. Ah, great. Fuck. No, Don't it's broken wish. for. Oh, my I'll God. Need a flashlight to find Ridley for help. Okay, I hate this now. <laughs> I absolutely hate. What? It's not real. This is not real, chat. This is not real. Where's Ridley again? Just checking with Ridley. Hello, Ridley! Uh, there's a surprise. Why is it that whenever I need Ridley for something, he magically disappears into the ether? Uh, oh my god. Open the sh- Oh my god. But now, okay, I think things are going shed. absolutely downhill from now. Maybe it's been left unlocked. For once, Ridley's carelessness will be. It's a paper boy. <sighs> it's getting cold. I don't know. Toilet break. Earlier. And it looks like it won't be. I think Zazu and Leo are saying hi to you guys. I mean, hi, hi, baby. He's singing, little babies. <sighs> Great. And the. Keeper of the keys has left his post. I haven't even started the dissection yet. Okay, the hammer. I'm getting a hammer. I don't have the 
time or the strength. <laughs> We're not gonna get a hammer now. Can't we just use our autopsy tools for this? Maybe it's in the... Oh, it's here. Never mind. Oh, yes, the outside lamp work. <laughs> yes. Uh, Jesus. And also days. this lamp for some reason. Oh, even though I'm not seeing the source. <laughs> well, let's just start the lock then. Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, hello? Can I? God damn it. It's actually holding up. Uh, I need to hit it right on. when it's in the middle. Something All right. This uh, Please don't scare me now. God. Something's missing. Generator. Some kind of switch. A crank. Uh, oh, no. There's so much shit in here. Biohazard? There's some bottles inside. Are you kidding me? Okay. Looks good. Uh, yes. Ah, oh, that's a crank. Uh, all right. Now, just to crank it up. Something wrong? Do it again. Do it again. How often do you need to do this? Ah, oh, there you go. Uh, not for long. Uh, empty. Sure would make a nice decorative ornament for the garden, though. Fuel. That's not fuel. No. <laughs> Kate, some fuel. Why is this e everything so scuffed? But look at this. MD. I can't see it. <laughs> the famous one. Is this you? Oh, God. Okay, I scared myself. Empty. Maybe it's here in the basement again. I think I saw something. Nope. Just the inside. Why, why am I even keeping this here, then? Oh, <laughs> oh god! <sighs> oh god, oh god. Okay, alright. It's just a coffin just falling down on us, Sorry. right? Don't worry. It's okay, chat. It's okay. Alice is talking to me. Wife killer. Cool. Jesus, yeah, Jesus. Maybe would you play this game? Finally. What? What do you mean, finally? Oh, this one is full. Dorothy. Uh, I think I've had enough. I shouldn't even be here. Dun, Not today. Dun, dun. All right. I can smell it. <laughs> I guess that's enough. Nice. Another empty jerry can to add to the collection. I'm not used to this. Oh, that's so loud! That's not Alice. What's gonna happen to the body on the... My on the de What the hell? Uh, what that was happened? chapter 5, by the way. Oh my god. What the fuck? I'm, want I'm the one who to blame. Who tied me up? Who's it's this? Only for a moment. Steven, Sorry, I knew Steven. it. What the fuck do you mean? I think I hit you too hard with that shovel. Oh, haha. Ha, great fucking joke. Untie me now. I don't have the energy for your shitty games. Mm-hmm. Me too. Welcome back, movie. Perfect timing. I don't understand. Steven, what do you mean? This has got to be some kind of mistake. I... You, 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 you and your moaning, you, you and your pr 
problems. You're not the victim here. But, but... Shut up! Can you shut your mouth for just one fucking second? To me, you are just a murderer. But... What? What? Knocked down? You thought I didn't know anything? I don't have any idea what you're talking about! Steven! My poor sister. Even now, you can't muster up any courage. Any honesty. You disgust me! I suspected you from the beginning. As soon as I found out that... <sighs> that Alice is dead. I knew it was you. Tumors, aneurysms, unexplained circumstances. Who are you trying to fool? Hmm? For God's sakes, you're a doctor! <laughs> Save it. No. It doesn't work like that. Shh! I haven't finished talking. Why did you lie, Jack? Why, why didn't you say anything? You confessed! <sighs> I knew I had to do something about it myself. Any of this making sense? Is this some kind of a bad ending I've mm -hmm. unlocked? Threats, a ring, no, right. Photos. I tried my best. Pete on the loose. <laughs> he died in that accident, by the way. You sick fuck. Yes, I am. <laughs> You've no clue just how much. Oh, I'm on some fantastic fucking drugs for it. Only, I've been slipping them to you. <laughs> I was hoping to break you down. That you'll be pushed into doing something drastic to yourself. And I'll just stand there and watch. <sighs> Her tumor was incurable. That's a filthy lie. This... It was only a matter of time. Again, lying! I saw the scans. <sighs> you know what? I think I've had enough of your bullshit. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. I lied. But hear me out. We had an argument that day. Worse than usual. I was... I was drunk. <laughs> and I was angry. <laughs> there was a fight. I pushed her. I pushed her against the wall. She hit her head and... She fell. She fell. Yes. Just like that. Limp and lifeless. Sasso! I panicked. I thought... I thought... I don't know. I didn't think at all. I was afraid I had caused it. That someone will accuse me. That it'll be the end of my career. When I called an ambulance, it was too late. Way too late. It wasn't an accident. And then I lied. I said that's how I found her. That I wasn't there with her. And now, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about it. Ever, everything. This whole year. Just dead memories. As if I didn't exist at all. Since that day. Fuck, here we go again. Even now. <laughs> Even now, you have the nerve to lie. Steven, I'm sorry. I suffered too. It wasn't he's shooting, he's shooting. an accident. You understand now? Someone has to pay for this. What's going on here? Steven Ridley? dropped the gun. It's none of your business, Sean. Leave and forget you saw anything. Steve, you know I can't do that. Mr. Ridley, please, run! Shut up! You know I'll shoot if I have to. Well, in that case... <laughs> that makes sense. Steven! No! Wait, that's it? Suddenly it went far. I did not expect that we would uh, finish this game now. Okay. But that was a bit uh, predictable, I feel like. Because I think two people in chat said, yeah, it is, it is Steve. We did it, yeah, but it doesn't feel very satisfying. Plot twist, yeah. Hmm. Okay, and what happened to the to the body on on the the desk in the autopsy room? <laughs> I'm still thinking about her. I feel like we did not do much autopsy, right? 
I wanted to do more. I think the the. I think we did like four in total. That's it. It was a sudden and yeah, a bit unsatisfying. It was so abrupt suddenly. It started so well. Huh. Kinda wish it was would have been a bit longer. Did you think it was a bit abrupt? Interesting. Well, I guess uh, that's it with our Tipsy Simulator. It was actually a good game, except the ending, which is leaving. Mm, yeah, not a bad taste, but it was too prop to me. I will. I really like the autopsy part, and I will definitely also come back again once they are they are releasing the autopsy uh, only mode. That was because that was super interesting, and I also kind of was. I was kind of hoping at least. I was expecting that, but I was entirely wrong. That we would work closely with the police, but I think that was not the point here. It, because it's only about the, the protagonist, to be honest. Mm. It's cool that they're doing that, releasing a mode. I think a lot of people got confused because it, they, the game's name is containing the name Simulator. And usually when you are having the, the name simulator there, then people are expecting that you are having some kind of simulation game. Which is also the case, but they also put a story here. But it was more like a walking simulator a bit, with grabbing some, some objects, which I really don't mind. Um, but yeah, it might be a bit too boring for some people. Oh yeah. I kind of wish I don't know I want to I want to do more autopsy I need more of autopsy it was very predictable then eh. uh yeah mm, anything else I I, mm, I really like the simulation part though just not enough I want more is there anything similar to this game uh, because um, I was waiting for this game for quite long. It was on my wish list for some time now. Um, because of the name uh, Simulator. And I'm also glad there was no jump scares. Just a little small giggle or things were moving. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> the bodies were moving as well. Um, yeah. I wonder if there is a similar game like this. Maybe... Uh, I'll figure it out. Or oh, maybe... Uh, wasn't there a game called Mortuary Assistant? What about the the wedding? This is all in our imagination. If we were tripping, there were a lot of things we were tripping about. Yeah, he was always seeing the, the sentence. Why did you do that? Why did you kill me? Why did you kill your wife? It reminded me a bit of the game, but I don't know the name. Shoot. What your is with that is less about diagnosis with help. Yeah, I think it's more like a really horror game, right? And then uh, I am also gonna watch other other content creators playing that game. Yeah. Damn, I wanna I wanted to learn more. One mistake though, um, I did a bit of research with the uh, with the centrifuge. Um, Kev already mentioned this yesterday as well. You cannot run the centrifuge like this uh, without balancing them. Because if you're not balancing this, it would literally just blew away everything. So um, this is why Kev mentioned this. I guess that's it. That was Autopsy Simulator. A bit short. And I really wish the, the simulation part would be more. I think we actually only had four buddies. And we did not solve the last case. Even with the, the buddy. The woman's buddy was uh, missing an arm. Missing a leg. I wish that would have been the case. But yeah. That was out of season. I hope you still enjoyed it. I I, I still like it. Um, just a bit too short I think. But I'm just repeating myself. Yeah. I hope you guys were enjoying this game. Um... In case you were watching this over YouTube and uh, you also enjoyed it, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe.